The 2010 Delta State University softball team has started out 4-0 after sweeping a pair of games from LSU Alexandria in a non-conference matchup with Southern Arkansas. Coach Casey Charles expects solid play and leadership from her seven seniors. We've got uh, seven seniors on this team, so you know when you have a veteran team like that, we have seven seniors, we have seven freshmen. So when you have uh, that that kind of older people coming back, you know we're really going to look to them t to a lot. You know, and we had a we had a uh, challenging year last year. You know, very transition, 27 to 24. We're definitely hoping uh, to to pick that up a little bit. You know, and we practices have been going pretty well. You know, we're just. Try to take it one game at a time um, and just kind of go from there. Two seniors returned who were named to the 2009 all Gulf South Conference team. Shortstop Brittany Eichner was named to the first team after a career best five home runs and 27 RBIs in 2009. The slick fielder also hit 280 while committing a mere four errors last season. Also returning is second team all GSC pitcher Edie Oliver. Oliver finished with an 18 and 12 record as she earned career highs in appearances, wins, strikeouts, and innings pitched. Oliver finished 10th in the league with 127 strikeouts as well. The Eupora native also finished third in the GSC with 206 and two thirds innings pitched. Also returning with high expectations is senior Courtney Clark. The Sheridan, Arkansas native was one of only two lady statesmen to hit above 300 last season as she finished with a 303 mark. Clark ranks eighth all time at DSU with 14 career home runs and ranks ninth with 93 career RBIs. Brooke Allgood, the leading home run hitter from the 2009 team returns. The Wallace State Community College transfer hit seven bombs to lead the team in her first year with the program. Anchoring third base for the Lady Statesman is another former All-GSC selection, Chelsea Carr. The middle infielder batted 256 with one home run and 12 RBIs during her junior season. The Lady Statesman will also expect solid seasons from first baseman Paige Silverthorne, catcher Kim Hensley, and utility player Emily Hearn. Charles returns her entire pitching staff, including senior Kate Moreland. The hard-throwing righty finished 2009 with a 5-7 mark. Moreland pushed herself into the DSU record book as well, moving into 10th place all-time with 155 career strikeouts. Coach Charles and her staff are also excited about the crop of newcomers they have brought in for the 2010 campaign. Freshman pitcher Brittany Gonzalez from South Louisiana, uh, very talented, can come in, she throws hard, she throws good movement. She needs to get some innings under her belt before she can kind of relax and settle in. Uh, we're going to be looking to her. Taylor Hughes is a start, uh, most likely a starting second baseman uh, from Morton, Mississippi. Very athletic, can play a lot of positions, swings the bat very well, played for a very good summer team. Um, Krista Richard starting uh, center field, uh, junior college transfer from Alabama Southern Community College, South Louisiana girl also. Um, very fast, can run the bases, can run down balls in the outfield. Uh, at, at the plate, she's a true lefty. She can hit, she can slap, she can drag, so she has a lot of threat over there. Uh, and also uh, another one, uh, junior college transfer from Missouri, Nikki Durilio. Uh Very fast, very good on the bases, good defensively. Uh, so, you know, th those for the most part are the ones we're going to be looking to, but the, but the whole group is very talented, and, and they'll all have a chance at some point to contribute. Senior leadership will lay in the Lady Statesman roster this season, and they expect to compete for the GSC West and also a spot in the NCAA tournament. The Lady Statesman return to action on Friday, February 19th, as they enter the UAH Charger Chillout, as they will take on Maryville University in the first of six games at the very competitive tournament. For the Statesman Insider, I'm J.T. Webb.